Good afternoon to my fellow engineers. You may remember, right, from the last video, we um, basically, we made, we assembled this component here, we assembled this um, uh, wind cooler, and then we used the auto explode command, um, and we exploded it so that we could see all of the parts in the constituent. Now this view is really useful because it basically, if we had it on a 2D representation, so if I took it to the front, for example, it says, right, there are four parts, um, it says we, we've got this um, handle needs to uh, slide on top on top of this base um, this amount uh, and then we need to put a bolt into this side which goes into there and a bolt into this side which goes into there and obviously it makes sense to look at it now because it is quite an obvious um, design I mean there's there's two holes and there's two bolts and it's very simple if you had something very confusing like an engine or a car or a helicopter or something even just a flat pack furniture with a you know with um with like a lot of different uh holes and stuff like that would be very very confusing. I mean the flat pack furniture that we designed um in the in the basics pack was um a little bit more uh, complex. It actually had more parts than this. It's just obviously we're deciding to to do um a simple part for this just so you can understand it better. But um obviously we could use an exploded view for that flat pack furniture, which makes it easier to put together when people see that uh when they, people see that image. Um, so we've we've made this exploded view, um, but now obviously it's all well and good being in 3D, but we want to export it to a draft file. Okay, um, and the way that we're going to be doing that, we we've got the exploded view. Um, we've saved this. Um, I've just saved it as wine cooler, uh, and it's an assembly file. And um, what exists? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, um, and we need to save this current view, this sort of configuration that we've got now. And the way that we do that, <clears throat> the way that we do that is um, uh, just up here, uh, when you're in the Home tab, and dead in the middle, it says Configurations. Now, a configuration is kind of like a layout in terms of the products or the items or the parts twinned with the view. Okay, so if we put this into an isometric view, for example, that would have a different configuration than if we put it in the front view. Okay. So we're gonna. So what we need to do is we need to save this current configuration. And the way that we're gonna do that, go to the bottom left one, display configuration. We're gonna just have a new one up, and we're just gonna save this configuration as. Uh, we'll just save this configuration as uh, front uh, exploded, like so. Okay. Which means that now, if I get out, if I uh, if I get out of the way, and then I open up front exploded, it will put it back to that exact configuration, and I can mess around with all the explosions, and I'll put it back to that configuration. So we've made this front exploded view, okay? And now what we need to do is we need to export it to the draft file. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to close ERA, the explode render and animate. I'm going to close that so we can actually save stuff. Obviously, all the explosions have now gone because we're no longer in an environment that allows us to explode, render, or animate. And now we need to save that so that that configuration is saved in the assembly file. So now we're just going to go ahead and open up a new draft. So you just isometric draft. And we've looked at draft files before, so I'm not going to go into loads and loads of details, but um, we, we do need to have like a quick end. Uh, summary of what, what's what's going to happen. So to open up a new vi uh, view, we're going to go to view, view wizard. Um, we need to make sure that we're on all solid model files because we need to be able to select our wine cooler. If you've just got the bolt, the handle and the wine cooler, it's probably because you're on part. But we obviously we want to see everything, so we're going to select the wine cooler. Okay, and now we can just drop some views. So we're just going to drop that view there. Okay. So we also want to look at the exploded view. So the way that we do that is we go back to view wizard. Okay. And in this environment, which allows us to set more things, we've got the assembly. We can choose what part we view. So we can actually just have, um, I'll be doing this in just a sec, but we can, we can just have a, an image of the, um, of the handle, for example. But if we do the entire thing and come down to this little drop down box, we can look at all the views that we had. So we've just made front exploded. So we're just going to open up front exploded and place that like that. Okay. 
So as you can see, we've got a 2D representation of what we had just drawn. Okay. These lines are obviously representative of where the lines should be. So obviously this should go through there. This uh, handle should go to this extent, and then this should therefore go through there. And it makes a lot of sense. It's a lot easier for us to visualize um, than if we were just given this. Because if we were just given this, and we weren't given a parts list, someone could say, what well, is, is it all one piece, or does the bolt, uh, is the bolt fixed, or is it, does it screw in, or, or what happens? So with this, it's a lot easier to see. Um, if we want some more detail on the, uh, on the handle, we're going to go back to view wizard. Just select the handle, for example. Um, this doesn't really tell us much, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the 1, 2, change the view to an isometric view, and put that down there. So that's quite useful, that shows us what the handle looks like just uh, in general. Um, and it wouldn't be a proper, uh, wouldn't be a proper um, draft file without some dimensions, so we're just going to throw in some dimensions just to recap you. This was, as I said, this was going to be a very, very short video. Just change that to a different size. No, nope, not that way. That's... And obviously that makes sense. It's 250 because um, if you remember from the dimensions previously, this box is 240, and the thickness of that either side is five millimeters, which makes perfect sense. Let's put in some more dimensions. Okay, uh, I'll put that one there. Now you might remember from the um, very first video in the intermediate pack that we looked at, we had the um, sweeping, um, and we made that um, donut or that toroid, and I showed you what the angle between was, you know, that you could use the angle between. So I'm going to use that now, and I'm going to try and find the angle between this line and this line. And as a way to do that, we just go to the angle between, much like before with the with the sweep command. Select the angle between these two. Uh, and I'll just do it nice and small, about there. So it's 158 degrees, that angle. Now it seems obviously very arbitrary, why is it that angle? But it's actually, it just uh, it's, it's based on, um, if you were to look at, in terms of that, it makes obviously a lot more sense. Okay, so obviously it makes a lot more sense. It's not, 158 wasn't an arbitrary angle, it was obviously because of that. Okay, brilliant. Um, and I've shown you, showed you all how to change your, um, your backgrounds by right clicking, clicking on background. And because this is an A2 sheet, we can just double, double check that by going on to sheet setup. Uh, we're using an A2 background on an A2 wide sheet, which is perfectly fine. Go to our O2 background and then we can change this. We can change parts of this. So we can change, we're going to change this one to um, exploded. Okay, and now it's changed down to exploded wine cooler, as you can see. Okay, so that's, as I said, this was a very short video, so that just sums up some of the things that you can do. So, um, remember, you go into View Wizard, and then you can, you change stuff like that. And you can just select things like that. Change your configuration. Um, and I'll see if I can, if I can use that one, I don't know. That's the default one they make. Oh, it's exactly the same. But um, you get the general idea. You can save different views. You can save 3D views like this, but exploded, to get your uh, different views. So that's just a, a very quick summary of some of the things that you can do.